It's cleaning day here in District 5, and I'm getting my space all squared away. It's been long overdue. <laughs> Whoa, this place looks incredible. Thanks, boss. Nice job. Mark? Well, Mark, we've made it out into unincorporated Pierce County. You know, we wanted to have a conversation today about abatement, what that means. We've brought with us Melanie Halson from Planning and Public Works to give us an idea of what's involved in this process. So welcome, Melanie. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what your job is, what you do. I am the Assistant Director at Planning and Public Works. And underneath um, Planning and Public Works, we do have our Code Enforcement Division. They do a full gamut of work for the citizens of Pierce County to help keep Pierce County looking as best as it can. Melanie, one of the primary calls I receive weekly, daily almost, is nuisance properties. Can you explain a little bit about that? Absolutely. So a nuisance property is a place where we have solid waste, junk vehicles, or a dangerous structure. And right now, we're getting about 300 calls on nuisance properties a quarter. These nuisance properties were identified as a priority for our county council and our executive, and they've asked us to try to streamline that enforcement, clean up those sites faster. This is a great example of a nuisance property that we're at today that has solid waste. And this is also a great example of the county working with a property owner to clean it up. The property owner has given us permission to come onto the property and clean it up on their behalf. And they don't always give you permission? Unfortunately, they don't. And when we aren't able to work with the property owner or they aren't able to clean it up themselves, we do get warrants in order to come in and clean up the sites ourselves. Describe the process from when the phone call comes in to the, the final abatement. We have a great new code enforcement portal and that's where all complaints come in. Um, and I believe the URL is, right, is playing right underneath us. Once it comes in, we process that complaint within five days and then we make contact with that property owner and get out to that site within a couple of weeks to verify the violation. We end up working with the property owner to bring them into our system to help them clean it up or we do have to go through a court order. But that process, there's letters that go out, there's opportunities for appeal. Our goal is always to work with the property owner to get it cleaned up and to make sure they always have an opportunity to be heard. Why don't we go take a look at this property and maybe you can point out some of the things that are under uh, the current cleanup process and point out what's been done. Absolutely, right. happy to. Do we walk with swagger? Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. So what's happening at this site is a solid waste cleanup. The property owner accumulated some trash back there. And with our code enforcement officers, they um, worked with the property owner and they are cleaning up this site. Do we have a sense for how many thousands of pounds of debris this is? If you don't, you can say no, I don't. No, okay. I don't. Craig, how much debris? Three. It's about 16 tons. How long does it normally take for a, once a case is called in and filed to get to resolution? Our goal is to do it in 90 days. And that means either the site's been cleaned up or we've forwarded that complaint onto the prosecuting attorney's office. What are some of the, the biggest challenges that you face? We regularly face property owners that are very upset with us coming in. Um, and, and that's hard to do because this is their home, this is where they live. Getting these properties cleaned up sends the message to others in the county, A, we're serious about enforcing this, and B, if there are problems in your neighborhood like this, let us know because we can come in and, and help you take care of them. Once the site is cleaned up, it's sold very quickly. And there's new investors coming in, living on that land, either developing it, reestablishing a home on it, it's restoring that community. Since 2007, our recoupment rate is 96%. That should be very comforting to the taxpayers to understand that not only are we making these investments, but we're doing it wisely and we're doing it in a manner that we can keep reinvesting this. Melanie, thank you so much for bringing us out here. Mark, you and I started out this journey down in the office. Probably not a great idea. Yeah, I think you did such a great job of that 
Melanie and I are gonna head back downtown and get back to work. Why don't you stick out here and see if you can put that shovel to use? That's a great idea. <laughs> Come on. Horn. Bell. Most definitely horn. Mark, it's Bell. <laughs>